Good morning, everyone. We'll check in with Emily in just a bit. I'm so excited for that. But first, times are changing. In just the past month, the Buffalo News left its iconic home in downtown Buffalo to reside in Larkinville. But before the move was announced, an even bigger change came. Sheila Ram has taken over the role of executive editor. She is the first African-American to hold this position in just the second woman in the paper's 142-year history. So joining me today in the studio this morning is the executive editor of the Buffalo News, Sheila, Sheila Ram. Good morning. Good morning. I'm so excited to sit with you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, so let's start with the history. Tell everybody a little bit about Sheila. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. Thank mm -hmm. you for having me. Mm -hmm. You know, I uh, am, was born and raised in, in Rochester. And I um, have five brothers and two sisters. Wow. And uh, I went to college at Buffalo State, mm -hmm. a place that's very special to me. And, you know, I, I started my journalism journey there. I uh, worked at the Niagara Gazette for a little while. And then I spent most of my career at the Democrat and Chronicle before uh, being promoted to executive editor of the Observer Dispatch and other Mohawk Valley papers in the Utica area. Mm -hmm. And then, well, I came here this summer. <laughs> so what was that like? What's the thought process? What were you thinking when you found out Buffalo News? Well, I have to tell you, I, I was shocked that uh, they were even interested in me. Mm -hmm. you know, this is an, an icon the Buffalo News is an iconic paper, a paper I've always respected. And, and once I wanted to be employed there as a reporter, but I just I couldn't get in, mm -hmm. which was pretty mm -hmm. funny. Uh, but uh, when they reached out to me to talk about the job, I continued to, I just pinched myself. I just kept pinching myself, <laughs> right. which I still do today. Mm -hmm. But I'm just so honored uh, that the Buffalo News and Lee, our parent company, thought I'd be a good fit for yeah. the family. Yeah, I'm sure you are. <laughs> I am sure you are, and we are so excited. So what is your approach? How is your approach different? What's going to change? Well, you know, journalism, uh, and I'm sure we all know this, print journalism has gone through a lot mm -hmm. over, the, uh, over the past couple of, past decade or so. But my approach is, is one of what I like to call people-centered journalism. Yeah. Stories that help people navigate their lives, their health, their safety, education for their families. And, and my approach is to ensure that we're, we're putting people at the center of our stories, that we're also holding officials accountable. But at the end of the day, I just want to give people the information that they need uh, to navigate their lives. And I also want us to build bridges in the community and to yeah. help us move forward. That's super important. Now, when you say building bridges, give us an example. Well, you know, during my time in Rochester, I was um, the, uh, in charge of something called the Mobile Newsroom. And every journalist in our room at the Democrat and Chronicle uh, went out to uh, some key zip codes and you worked in the community. Mm -hmm. You didn't come to the office, you worked there. The purpose of this was to build trust and relationships yep. and to hear the stories that residents felt were being missed. And then to come back and do as many of those stories as they could. That's good. But the key is you go to people where they are instead of expecting them to come to you. And that's part of the way to build bridges and trust. Yeah, that's really good. That's really good. Now you guys just moved. We did. You moved from the iconic building downtown to Larkinville. Yeah. Talk about that. Well, you know, it's funny. We, we've, the newsroom has been in our new space for a week. We literally <laughs> just moved. A whole week, the, folks. There are still boxes there. Um, <laughs> and it's, it's awesome. You know, the, the, the Buffalo News, as you said, it's a beautiful, iconic building. But the space that we are in now is, is, is bright, mm -hmm. big windows, lots of sunshine. And, and it's, you know, it's just... A space that speaks to who newsrooms are and who we are today yeah. and it was just exciting though there are still boxes everywhere <laughs> and we're still getting used to the place we're still walking around like yeah. it's the first day of school yeah I keep getting up and looking out the window uh, um, but it's great we're really excited to be there uh, Sheila really quick before we go one piece of advice you give to women in media you know continue to listen listen to communities um, as you think about the stories that you're going to write or, mm -hmm. or edit. But also, don't be afraid to speak up. Share your ideas in the newsroom. Don't be afraid to take a chance. Make your voice heard. Don't be shy. Oh, thank you. Sheila Ram, executive editor of the Buffalo News. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.